The U.S. have deployed strategic bombers to the Korean Peninsula to participate in joint mock air raids with South Korea's military in preparation for a possible conflict with North Korea. In past weeks the relationship between Washington and Pyongyang has deteriorated with joint U.S.-South Korea military drills being met with rocket launches from the north. On Wednesday, March 22, the U.S. and South Korean troops simulated crisis operations with the U.S. bomber reportedly leaving from the Anderson Air Force Base in Guam then performing training exercises with Japanese F-15J fighters. South Korean F-15K and KF-16 fighter jets flew alongside a U.S. Air Force's B-1B strategic bomber and South Korea's air defense identification zone. On the same day, it was reported that a North Korean missile appeared to have exploded just just moments after it was launched near the city of Wonsan, on the North's east coast, according to Commander Dave Benham, a spokesman for the U.S. Pacific Command. The drills known as Full Eagle have angered Pyongyang which considers the operations as provocations. The U.S. Navy's USS Columbus nuclear submarine, which specializes in undersea warfare, has also been taking part in the drills as well as the USS Carl Vinson aircraft carrier. North and South Korea remain technically in a state of war since the Korean War ended in stalemate in 1953. It was reported that earlier this month that the nuclear-armed country launched a barrage of missiles near Japan. Japan has repeatedly expressed concern over North Korea's behavior and conducted its first ever civilian air raid drills last week after the missiles were fired. If you like this video please leave a like and subscribe.